welcome back guys i know this is not a vlogging channel but we are recording a cursor run technology sessions but i couldn't resist to show you this wonderful weather in bangalore city so uh today what we are going to do in this session is we are going to see how to update your d365 tier one environment so today i have one dev environment where i need to deploy a quality update guys this weather is awesome today it's raining cats and dogs but let's continue to our technical session and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to this channel and let's go to the screen and update our dev environment so we are on our laptop and you can see my screen i hope so currently this is my dev box and i want to apply a quality update on this one the current application version is 10033 and platform version is this so um when I say I want to apply a quality update, it uh, this particular process that I'm doing applies to each kind of you know update you want to do to your environments, right? Whether it's a tier one environment or tier two environment or tier three environment, doesn't matter, right? So um, if we want to see right what is the update or what's next available from Microsoft for us, you can scroll down, and in the available update section, you will see your current version. So my application is on 10.033 and this is the build number and what I see here is there is a quality update available that is for the same version 10.033, 10.033 but the build number is 84 and we currently have 7.9. In case you have a new application version available let's say 34 or 35 so it here it will tell you the service update is available and you will see the service update number. So uh, what we are going to do here is the first step is uh, once you see your quality update or service update, you click on view updates and you will see the number of updates or hot fixes available in this particular package, right? So it says uh, these are the hot fixes available and other information what this hot fix does and things like that. The next step is I'm going to save this package in my asset library. So if I show you my asset library as of now, my asset library, the latest update is service update 10.033. I'm going to save that particular package as a quality update. So let's go back to the previous browser. Here it says, okay, um, these are the updates. I say select all, save package. And I'm going to say this is the quality update for 10.033. If you want to put some more in, uh, information you can put some more information and i say save package as soon as you hit save package that quality update in few seconds will be available in your asset library so let's hit save package you can see it says your update package is being saved to asset library guys like i said though i am applying a quality update the same process applies for the application update as well or service update as well okay process is same and guys yes um, the save process that we are doing you need to do it only once for the package once the package is available in asset library you can apply the same package to any environment you want whether it's your dab uat or production doesn't matter so that's this particular process that you are saying where we clicked on the package itself and then we selected all and we are saving it to our asset library this is a one-time process doom, 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 doom. okay looks like the update is done so it says update package was successfully saved now you can hit done and we can go back to our asset library and refresh it guys i'm staying in hotel and you know hotel wi-fi right it's super duper slow so i'm just cutting in between now if we go to our software deployable packages section you will see quality update 10 or 33 here right so this is good so, so far what we did, we had downloaded the update package into our asset library. Now, if we go back to our uh, environment page, our dev environment page or whatever environment you want to update, apply this update to. Now, click on maintain, apply update and we should see once it loads, we should see our quality update 10 or 33 here. Somehow we didn't see it, so let's see what happened. Uh, if you just saw that thing, right? We didn't see our quality update 10.033 listed there because it says it's not 
valid yet right though the package is updated what the system or lcs service is doing in the background it's validating the package itself right whether it's a valid thing or not right so give it few more minutes and we'll see in a what so in two or three minutes you see this checkbox is ticked now it says it is validated so now if we go back to our environment page again and say apply update let's see if we see our quality update this time hopefully yes if not we'll figure it out so yes we have quality update 10 or 33 listed here now it's simple you just need to select the quality update or whatever the service update or quality update you saved into your asset library and it is validated select that particular update hit apply so it says select yes to confirm that you want to proceed with the following package deployment we say yes please do it so now your system will go into the deployable stage it will start deploying the package and it will take few not few minutes but it can take an hour or so as well depending on your system and the resources that lcs or the azure subscript azure infrastructure is providing right now so right now you say see right it says it's queued and service status not yet started so i will just leave it as is and we'll fast forward to see how much time it took to complete the whole thing failed preparation if you see here but uh, don't worry about this thing right because sometimes without any reason it fails to just restart the AOS or sometimes uh, you know get a link to the environment so what you need to do is just hit resume and wait for another few minutes all right as you can see our environment is updated with the new quality update uh, so that's all guys but uh, before you go i forgot to mention one important thing that i should have mentioned uh, you know in between somewhere as well please do subscribe the channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet it motivates me to you know create more and more content so please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode until then take care and goodbye